I published Icons of Evolution in 2000, uh, what I called the ultimate icon was a drawing of an ape-like creature gradually morphing through more and more human-like animals into a modern human being. Uh, this is perhaps the most powerful icon of all. Uh, it touches us most directly uh, in the sense that it's about our own origin. And it's basically uh, an imaginative drawing to illustrate a materialistic story, namely that we morphed into our modern form through unguided evolution uh, without any design. Uh, I showed in 2000 that uh, this was the case, and in the intervening uh, 17 years, uh, it's still the case, even more so, I would say. So in Zombie Science, my new book, I bring things up to date by reviewing some of the fossils that have been discovered in the intervening years, uh, usually accompanied by a great deal of hype. Probably the funniest example of these new fossil discoveries is Ida, which was reported in 2009, accompanied by a lot of hype, as they usually are. It was called the eighth wonder of the world, uh, among other things. Uh, a two-hour documentary was produced before the announcement in the scientific literature, uh, so the hype was, was guaranteed to hit big time. Uh, within a year, the thing had been discredited. It turned out to be a lemur, not an ancestor of modern primates, modern human beings. The other fossils that have been reported in the intervening years are perhaps not so hyped up uh, and not so discredited, but in any case, they, it seems that every discovery uh, complicates the story of human evolution more, as in fact evolutionary biologists predicted in the 1980s. Uh, so instead of ending up with a nice clean line from an ape-like creature, chimpanzee-like creature, whatever, to a modern human being, uh, each discovery complicates matters even more than they were complicated before. So we still don't know uh, really what human evolution looked like, if in fact it was evolution at all. The uh, discovery of miss missing links is uh, really quite funny. Uh, the fact is uh, there there's no way to link fossils together in a chain of ancestry and descent. So the term missing link is, is very misleading. The reason you can't do that is, uh, well, just imagine finding out in a field uh, two human skeletons buried in the ground. Unless you have identifying marks or written records, or maybe in some cases some DNA, you can't tell whether they're related to each other. So when you dig up two fossils on two different continents that are millions of years apart and thousands of miles apart and not even the same species, how do you know whether one is related to the other? You can't. And actually, evolutionary biologists have pointed this out. You cannot link fossils. The fossils themselves do not provide the evidence for ancestry and descent. They may illustrate it. They may make you know, good pictures in a book but uh, they themselves do not provide the evidence. They cannot. Mm -hmm.